Hello everyone. I'm Jin, the TCM practitioner and instructor in Victoria, BC, Canada. I update our online class recorder here to help students study and review, prepare for the board exam. The book we use, I write down below. You can check in there. I will update more video later to help students to study. If you like, you can subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell. If some new radio coming, you'll be noticed. Okay, let's start. Then we go to important part for our time. For our time diagnosis. So for the time diagnosis, still belong to we talking about we have four way diagnosis. Still belong to inspection or observation. And it's a pretty important part. Pretty important. So, time diagnosis, uh, we separate with two parts first. First, we're talking about the tongue body. So body of the top. Secondly, we talk about the tongue coating. So that's uh, why is the tongue body, why is the tongue coating. And uh, we talk about the tongue body first. Tongue body, we still separate with two parts. Why is the form of the tongue? What's the form of the tongue? Another part is the color of the tongue. So we have a different color for the tongue body and then later on, we're still talking about different color for the tongue coating. That's the difference. Let's talk about the color of the tongue body first. So remember the color here, we're talking about the tongue body color. It's not the coating color. So tongue body color, we have pale color, we have pale color. So pretty similar like we talking about the face color. So face color, we say that mainly coming from deficiency, but also coming from excessive kind of cold. But the tongue body color, Mainly pale is deficiency type. So this deficiency, we say, could be young qi deficiency, could be generally qi deficiency, could be blood deficiency. So three deficiency then cause the tongue pale color. Then we talking about the right tongue, right tongue. Red color on the face is the heat. Red color on the tongue still heat. Still including excessive heat and deficiency heat. But only from the tongue body color, we are letting it be hard to identify it is coming from external heat or internal heat. Uh, excessive heat or deficient heat. Just the general heat, the general heat. And then tongue body also have deep red color. So what's the deep red color means? So deep red color still heat, but it's more severe kind of heat. So red is heat. Deep red still heat here. 
but just the most severe. So they can come in from external, they can come in from external, and they can come in from internal. They can come in excessive kind of heat, yeah, excessive kind of heat. Yeah, passenger heat invading the, they say yin and the blood level. When we're talking about the four levels later, we say four levels, way, he, and the yin. Yeah, she means blood. Yes, fiber ADP. Yeah, fiber ADP coming from external layer and go to deeper, deeper. So basically, when they go to yin xue level, it go to internal heat already. It's not the external heat anymore, but it is coming from external. And they can come in from more directly internally. That's mainly is in deficiency. And the severe kind of in deficiency, deficiency heat rushing up, that's what we call fat. So that's, uh, we say, deep right. Generally say deep right is severe kind of heat, severe kind of heat. Then we're talking about the purple color. So purple color, we say that the generally say is blood stasis kind of color. So blood stasis may be coming from different reasons. Then we look in some like detail, but generally say purple color is blood stasis color. So that's the tongue, body, and the color. Tongue, body, and the color. Any questions here? Then we talking about the tongue body form. Like the what kind of form of the tongue? What kind of form? Of it? So the tongue can show up with different form. We talking about the swollen first. Yeah. Swollen tongue, bigger tongue, swollen tongue. Bigger tongue. So it's pretty commonly we talk here about heel, tongue, and we teeth mark that kind of swollen of tongue. And that's usually coming from yang deficiency and the water irritation. So yang deficiency pretty easily comes water retention. And if swollen tongue is red color, that's usually coming from excessive heat. So red color is heat and cause tongue swollen. That's excessive heat. And if swollen tongue is blue color, yeah, blue silvery color and a darker. We say darker color is pretty complicated. Could be coming from heat, could be coming from cold, and could be coming from blood stasis. 
So generally say that's kind of toxicity. So that's volatile. But generally say, I believe the first one is commonly. The other two is not that common. Then we're talking about the thinner tongue. Thinner tongue. So thinner tongue basically is a debility kind of tongue. Then we're looking for the color. Then we're looking for the color. So pale color and the thinner, key blood debility. And the red color, drying. That's the yin debility. So generally say that's the debility kind of time. And the cracked tongue, cracked tongue. So cracked tongue, clinically we still can see it, a different kind of cracked tongue. They may happen in different parts of the tongue. Uh, pretty commonly, uh, pretty commonly, uh, sometimes we can see the crack may be this in the center and not that deeper. So that's possible normal time. Yeah, that's possible normal time. Not, not too deeper and not changing. Yeah. They're always in there. That's just the natural crack time. Yeah, natural time. Other than that, sometimes you can see the crack tongue in different shape and different part of the tongue. Thus, may be coming from most case is blood is deficiency more mainly coming from. I would like to say, in deficiency. Certainly, pale color coming from the blood deficiency, but if red color is coming from in deficiency, certainly the blood belongs to in art. And the deep red, that's excessive heat. Yeah. Excessive heat, not that common cause the tongue part. Mainly is the red tongue yellow goldy. So that's about the part of tongue. And then we're talking about throwing tongue, throwing tongue. Uh, throwing tongue, I think usually we're talking about the strawberry kind of tongue, the strawberry kind of tongue. So like in the superficial the tongue, Something there, yeah, something there. So that's a kind of a drawing kind of tongue. So this kind of tongue, generally we say that's the heat. Yeah. Real heat. Heat is involved. Heat is involved. So that's usually it's a severe kind of heat. Yeah, severe kind of heat. Then we talk about deviated tongue. Jan, I have a question about the thorny tongue. Yeah. Um, is it mostly blood heat or is that just heat? I thought it was associated with blood heat. Am I wrong? Uh, so this heat, we say, is more deeper, more severe, can go to blood level. Okay, but it could also be at the um, yes. yin or qi or wei level? Uh, qi level not count. Oh no, because it's yeah. internal. Yeah, yin level, blood level. Okay. Yeah, okay. level, still deep level. So we are here. Yeah. Not the wei level, not in the qi level. Okay, great, thank you. Yeah, you are done. Yeah. And then we're talking about the deviated tongue. Deviated tongue. So deviated tongue, that's uh, Basically caused by internal wind. 
we talk about the drop drop and then how the deviation can be deviated. And the rigid tongue. Rigid tongue here is talking about the tongue looks harder. Yeah, tongue looks harder. So that's not that commonly used the words, but generally they talking about the tongue looks pretty hard. Pretty hard. So that's basically we have external reason and the internal reasons. Uh, external reasons. It kind of a heat in video and maybe flam, yeah. Too great flam and the rotation in go to the internal lay. Originally it's the external passenger, then go to internal lay. So that's a kind of a problems. Even severe kind of heat damage body fluid. And the uh, internal reason, yeah, internal reason. We're still thinking about more relationship with the drug. Some people after this drug, their tongue pretty hard to move, you know, they couldn't speak. So this kind of tongue is not that common that we can see. The most the tongue body we can see is kind of weakness kind of. So weakness kind of tongue is a deficiency kind of tongue. It could be severe kind of T deficiency and blood deficiency. Or maybe fluid is damaged. So that's we're talking about the different color here. Hair color, still T deficiency and blood deficiency and the deep red color. So red color is the heat, and the deep red is a severe kind of heat. So deep red, severe kind of in the base, we talk about the in class. So that's about how bodies fall, yeah, how bodies fall. Any question in this part? 